But now look inside at Benjamin in there, and I have to be careful not to touch the cage. But now look inside at Benjamin in there, and his tinsel is completely motionless. Benjamin is completely comfortable in there, calm, at rest, while the lightning storm rages around him, literally around him, and that just got me. Um, so if the downward force on a flat earth is caused by an unknown electrostatic force beneath our feet, then that force should be diminished or altered by placing an object inside the Faraday cage. While I mentioned that Faraday cages also block electromagnetic radiation, that means cell phone signals. And wouldn't you know it, I have a Faraday cage. Oh really? This is a forensic Faraday cage, used to examine cell phones that have been collected as evidence in criminal investigations. By placing a cell phone in this box, you block out virtually all electromagnetic waves and electrostatics. All right, first misconception is that you can test your Faraday cage using a cell phone or a radio. So this is my cell phone here. Yes, I still use a flip phone. Uh, I'm gonna t open up this Faraday cage that I've got here and stick this cell phone in here and I'm gonna make a call to it and it's gonna work, okay? And that's fine and I'll explain that in a second. So let me open this up and put this in there. All right, and like that, let me turn up the volume to make sure you guys can hear it. Make sure the bail is locked. Okay. Okay, I'm using my wife's phone to call it. Okay, there we go. There we go. My wife is calling me. That means cell phone signals. Now, why did this work? Why did this work? One thing I like to think of with a Faraday cage is that this isn't a, a wall that blocks all of the radio frequencies. What this is is more like earplugs, okay? So when you go and you shoot your firearm, you put earplugs in your ears, and you can still hear, you can still hear guns going off, but it doesn't damage your ears anymore. That's what this Faraday cage is going to do. This cell phone is made to use tiny amounts of power, amounts of wattage, and still be able to make a phone call. It can receive a small amount of power, still make a phone call, send and receive, okay? Same thing with like a ham radio or a walkie-talkie or something like that. If you put a walkie-talkie in here, you're still gonna be able to hear the transmission coming out of this Faraday cage. That's because this isn't blocking all frequencies, it's just toning it down so that it doesn't damage the electronics. That means cell phone signals. That means that if electrostatics is the cause of the downward force, placing something inside this box will break the connection between those objects and diminish or completely remove the downward acceleration. So let's do some experimenting. What we have here is a drug scale, a test weight, Han Solo and Carbonite, and my cell phone. We start by turning on the scale and ensuring that it is at zero. Now let's move to the cage. We place all the items in the cage and seal it tight. Then watch the signal on my phone. After a few moments of confusion, the phone gives up and says there's no service. Now know that I am also four feet away from my home's wireless router, but the cage completely blocks it. Now let's check those weights again.
And wouldn't you know it, not even a fraction of a gram off. But let's not end there. Maybe the diminishing electrostatic force in the cage prevents my phone's accelerometer from knowing which way is down. Nope, we don't see anything there either. So, flat earthers, you can mark this one off your list of excuses for the cause of gravity. Or you can just accept that gravity is real and stop arguing the semantics of if it's a force or a pseudo force, or whether it's mass attracting mass or the warping of space time. Because Einstein did not replace Newton. Trust me. Now, next week, we're going to continue this conversation on the warping of space time and how it was observed on the human scale. On the human scale. On the human scale. all electromagnetic waves and electrostatics. I'll see y'all next time. One proposal for this downward acceleration has been electrostatics, and that is the topic of today's video. Electrostatic force. An electrostatic. Electrostatic. Electrostatics. Electrostatics. Static charge. Static charge. Static charge. Electrostatics. Electrostatics. Electrostatics with electrostatic charge. The electrostatic force. Electrostatics. Electrostatic force. Electrostatic force. And electrostatic charges from electrostatics. Electrostatic forces. Electrostatic interaction. And electrostatics. Electrostatics. Maybe the diminishing electrostatic force in the cage prevents my phone's accelerometer from knowing which way is down. Nope, we don't see anything there either. Virtually all electromagnetic waves. Virtually all electromagnetic waves. Electrostatic force. An electrostatic. Electrostatic. Electrostatics. Electrostatics, static charge, static charge, static charge, electrostatics, electrostatics, electrostatic with electrostatic charge, the electrostatic force, electrostatic, electrostatic force, electrostatic force, and electrostatic charges for electrostatics, electrostatic forces, electrostatic interaction. And electrostatics. Electrostatics. Electrostatic force. And electrostatic. Electrostatic. Electrostatics. Electrostatics. Static charge. Static charge. Static charge. Electrostatics. Electrostatics. Electrostatics with electrostatic charge. The electrostatic force. Electrostatics. Electrostatic force. Electrostatic force. And electrostatic charges for electrostatics. Electrostatic forces. Electrostatic interaction. Electrostatics. The electrostatic force. Electrostatic force. And electrostatics. <laughs> All electromagnetic waves. Virtually all electromagnetic waves. Virtually all electromagnetic waves. <laughs> Porque te estaba, me estaba la paella.
llena de garras. 